beloved in the Lord, I bring you greetings from the throne of grace. I bring you an encouraging and inspiring message from your Father in heaven. I want you to know that God wants you to win every battle that you are faced with. It is God's plan that you come out victorious in the face of any situation, problem or challenge in your life. In Genesis 1 verse 28, when God created man, the Bible records that, and God blessed them, and God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Man is not to be subdued or dominated by anything in the earth. Whatever it may be, whether sickness, lack, strife, spiritual, mental, emotional, psychological, or physical attacks, man is to be victorious over all of them. While we are on earth, we all will face problems. It's either we are in the midst of one now, or we have gone through one, or we will in the future, but it's part and parcel of living on earth. Now, these problems come in all forms, shapes, and sizes. It doesn't matter how they present themselves. What's important is that we are to know and be certain that we are not to budge in the face of these problems, but to overcome them. We are to dominate this world in all aspects. We have the authority and power to do that. God gave us the power. Yes, man lost it when he sinned, but Jesus came, lived, died and resurrected just to bring us back to that position of authority and power. So it is God's wish that we dominate, that we subdue everything and that we come out victorious in any situation we find ourselves in. Now, in order for us to successfully dominate any problem or situation in our lives, the first thing we have to do is to change our perspective of that situation. What do you see? How do you see that problem? Do you see it as bigger than you? Do you see it as though it's going to claim your life? You need to change all of that. Look at David when he went to give his brothers food. He heard that a Philistine was threatening them. And so David asked in 1 Samuel 17 verse 26, And David spake to the men that stood by him, saying, What shall be done to the man that killeth this Philistine, and taketh away the reproach from Israel? For who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God? And in verse 36 of the same chapter, he said, Thy servant slew both the lion and the bear, and this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them, seeing he hath defied the armies of the living God. What we notice here is that while the king and the entire army of Israel were seeing a giant, in verses 4 to 7, we see the description of Goliath. So while everyone else was seeing Goliath, whose height was six cubits in a span, and he had a helmet of brass upon his head, and he was armed with a coat of mail, and the weight of the coat was 5,000 shekels of brass, and he had greaves of brass upon his legs, and the target of brass between his shoulders, and the staff of his spear was like a weaver's beam, and his spear's head with 600 shekels of iron, and one bearing a shield went before him. While everyone was seeing this giant, David was seeing an uncircumcised Philistine. David's perspective of the problem was different from theirs. How do you perceive the problem that's before you? Change your perspective. Start seeing those problems as opportunities to practice your authority and power in Christ Jesus. If all you see is the physicality of the situation, then I bet you really do not see anything. Start seeing the situation with your spiritual eyes, and that will change how you react or respond to it. Start seeing your problems with the eyes of God. Remember how big and mighty your God is, and compare any problem to that. When you know who you are, and who's got your back, you begin to see situations differently. In the face of a life-threatening situation, remember that you have been given healing as the children's bread. In the face of a situation where you feel trapped, remember that what you have is all you need to overcome. 
What did Moses do when he was between the Egyptians and the Red Sea? He had been given the power to divide it. And while the children of Israel were seeing their end, Moses saw something else. He was confident that the God who sent him to free the Israelites would deliver them from this situation just like he had done for others. That problem, that sickness, that heartache, that job loss, that childlessness, that pain, that hurt, that situation in your life that's before you can never be greater than the God that's behind you. But the question is, do you know who is behind you? Do you know who has got you covered? Do you know who is protecting you? Do you know who is watching over you? The Bible says in Psalms 121 verse 4, Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. He is your ever-present help in times of trouble. The Lord is strong and mighty. The Lord is a loving and faithful God. He will never let anything come to us when he knows we will be able to handle it. Jesus came to earth and he suffered everything that we are suffering now, yet he was victorious in all circumstances. Jesus lived on earth to show us an example of how our lives here on earth should look like. He took back your power and authority from the devil. Change your perspective of the situations in your life. Do not be scared of things that are to be scared of you. Cancer isn't a big deal for God, so it shouldn't be a big deal too for you. You are above and beyond that. You are bigger than that issue. Look at the positive side of everything that presents itself before you. You are bigger than that giant in your life. You are higher than that mountain. Go back to God's word. It's the surest means of renewing your mind. Romans 12 verse 2 puts it even better. It says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. You are in the world, but you're not of the world. You cannot afford to be shallow-minded. So, see beyond the physical reality of things. Get closer to God and build an intimate relationship with Him. Let Him open your eyes to your strengths and your not so obvious reality. The Lord bless you as you change your perspective and defeat the enemies in your life. Keep fighting to win.